joining us for the very first time. Now, he's been in the chat before. He's a great friend of ours, friend of the show, Emmy-nominated actor. He's also a writer. He's also a producer. And he has his own podcast, too. And a director. And a director, too. And he's got his own podcast, The Frank Mink Show. He's co-hosting that. Everybody, welcome. Give a very loud welcome to Mr. David Goldsmith. Thanks, Goldie, for being here. Please you come got, back. Again, you can check out his podcast on Apple Podcasts. You can see it on Spotify. You listen to it on Spotify. It's all over the place. Goldie, tell people about your podcast a little bit before we get out of yeah, here. Let's get a minute. Well, we do it naked, uh, which goes in line with that. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Uh, I, it's a brief story. I'll say it as quick as I can. I'm a I'm a, a, a failed child actor, a writer, producer, director, douchebag. I failed you. You have an Emmy nomination, bro. Okay, look at me now. Um, <laughs> and, uh, you know, not so long ago, I went to go eat at a restaurant that specializes in clam chowder, and uh, I was served by what I thought was for sure an insurrectionist guy. His baseball cap on backwards, covered in tattoos, sort of had a bit of a swagger and an attitude. We started talking. He brought out a bowl of water for our dogs, which was eating with us. I said, I oh, can't be that bad of a guy. I'm paying the check, trying to make small talk. Actually, I was kind of nervous. He was threatening, kind of scary looking. Uh, and I said, so what's in the chowder? I mean, it's fucking delicious. I don't know. What am I going to say to a guy at a chowder restaurant? He goes, never had it. I don't know. I said, what are you talking about? He goes, yeah. I, Good I, Frank I, impression. I yeah, it is. Uh, he says, uh, <laughs> yeah, I never had it. I said, what do you mean? Are you working in chowder barge? He says, yeah, I'm kosher. And I'm thinking to myself, even my dead relatives, Jewish relatives, are upset about my two tattoos. This guy's covered in them. And I asked more about him. Turns out his name is, is Frank Mink. He's a former neo-Nazi white supremacist skinhead. He was tried as an adult at 17 for attempted murder and kidnapping. He was a neo-Nazi skinhead. He's a terrible fucking human being. In fact, a lot of his life was used as inspiration for a movie called American History X. And uh, yeah. Oh, shit. So, yeah. Guess what? He denounced it all. There's a long story behind it. He got out of prison. He befriended an African-American gentleman who became a dear friend. He started working for a Jewish guy at an antique mall and realized Jews weren't so bad. He had a swastika on the side of his neck. He was one of the first people in America to get a tattoo removed. And uh, he spent his entire life speaking against hate and racism. An amazing human being. But the best part of the story and why I got involved is that after a talk one year at Syracuse University, I believe that's how the story goes, a rabbi came up to him and said, that was a very interesting conversation about your past. You know, it's impressive to hear that from a Jew. He says, excuse me, you heard about my past. I'm not a Jew. He said, oh, you're a Jew. Did a DNA test. He's a Jew. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, his life is amazing. He is a bona fide kosher Jew, former neo-Nazi white supremacist skinhead. And uh, we have an amazing podcast called The Frank Mead Show. And uh, we try to update as much as we can. He's around the country all the time doing speaking engagements. So we're not as consistent as we'd like to be. But I encourage everyone to come check it out. The conversations are amazing. And we recently had a guest named Daryl Davis, who is a... Uh, amazing African episode. Yeah, yeah. He's an uh, African-American jazz musician who befriends the KKK and gets them to uh, to leave the KKK. It's unbelievable. It's, so, yeah. It really is. One of the most interesting uh, podcasts I've ever listened to is that episode. It's, it's spectacular. Yeah. Really, yeah, really good. Uh, it's, it's a spectacular. very spectacular. I'm a complete pussy and I'm not an activist, but through Frank, <laughs> I've uh, I've really learned a lot. He's a cop watcher. He's, uh, he's an amazing human being and he deserves the opportunity to repent for what he did and to have some amends. And that's what his show is about. I'm kind of the co-host. We have some fun with him. He's got a great sense of humor and – the stories are compelling and amazing, and that's why I'm a part of it. So thanks for having me on the show. Thanks for letting me mention that.